Hi, I'm Cheyenne. I'm a freshman from Lincoln Southwest. Stop, now slam. And this is my poem, The Death of a Mother. A simple story, a box of matches, a bench, and the words that were never said. I love you. There were a box of matches tucked into the back pocket of the jeans with the sequins you used to wear. We were all aware they were there, but it was a choice that did not belong to us. I wasn't oblivious to them, but I pushed on for you, for your kiss on my cheek, for your embrace, and for a mother's love. You're my little girl. Those are the words that encompass me in your embrace, but the warmth of your words are gone, and all I have left is the cool touch of marble under my desperate fingertips. I'm searching, begging for your arm for your arms. A, a bench is cold and hard in contrast to a mother's warmth and softness. A bench is a beautiful gesture, but not enough to soothe my aching heart. A bench is a kind way to honor you. A woman with so much to say, but just not enough time to say it. I'm so proud of you. You're growing up so fast. How is your day? How are you feeling? These are the words that at no time in the future are ever going to be said by you. You can still talk to her, they say, but what's the point of talking when all that echoes back is silence and silence hurts and your voice soothes? This hole in my heart cannot be mended together because you held possession of that peace. You made me smile, a smile that lifted my whole face. My smile is now altered. I lost words. How can someone lose something they can create? How can you leave something you created? I'm not angry, it's called pain and it bubbles up inside me. Try to remember the good memories, they say. She's still with you, they say. It's so much of them and not enough of you. I want your words in my ears. I want you in my life. I want you here. There is no, good, there is no way to get used to an absence of words, no way to get used to the death of a mother. Memories are like movies. They are good the first few times, but after a while, you want new ones. I get a glimpse of the good memories, but they have pain written all over them to the point where I can't even see them anymore. Because whenever I think of you, I think of how I lost you.